Scott, as the backup goalie, you were thrown into a tough situation back-to-back. -back. They lose last night. Why were you so prepared for this moment and getting the shutout? Uh, it's just, you know, it's my job to come in in some tougher situations throughout the year. And, uh, you know, I got a game the, you know, earlier this week against Calgary and wasn't the wasn't the greatest outie in the world. But, um, you know, just went back to the basics, worked hard. I think that's, you know, kind of who I am and just a hard worker, get out top of my pain and, and try and make them beat me, you know, obviously around and take up as much done as possible. And it just kind of worked tonight. We played well in front of me, got out early and uh, obviously held on. Easier said than done, though. How do you continue to bounce back from tough performances and just throwing yourself into tough situations? Yeah, I don't dwell on it. I think, uh, you know, I'm a hard worker, and I think that's kind of where uh, where my career's kind of been, uh, you know, stable the most. You just keep working no matter what kind of, you know, circumstances you've been in or kind of how the game prior went. You start, you know, obviously winning that kind of steamroll. You're just beating yourself up. So, you know, I like to bounce back. Obviously, that's a, that's a better one than anticipated, but obviously, uh, you know, to come in, help the guys win and, and shut off any, uh, any kind of dwells from last night, it's obviously good for the team and uh, obviously keeps us getting some points. What does it feel like when you get a shutout performance like the one you got tonight? Uh, it's just, you know, it's uh, it's rewarding for yourself. You're, you're you're proud of how you prepared, proud of how you played. Uh, I think I get a, you know, did a good job and a lot of things that I'll look at, you know, after tonight, just kind of doing video over it and, and watching what works so well. And that's, you know, one of those games you can look back on throughout the year. If things start going the wrong way, you just kind of come back and, you know, how'd that work? How did, why did it work? Um, and that's, you know, you, you just kind of, I guess, you know, keep those kind of coming. It's hard to keep them consistently, but, um, you know, if you kind of put that groundwork in and know what you, works well for you, just keep kind of getting back to that. It's a gritty part of the season what's the significance of a road win like this one as you guys had to a, to a home stretch here before the break it's big I think I think coaches said it's like 27 games or something on the road already and uh, feels like we've been you know west east and, <laughs> and never in our own bed but uh, you know it's it's, uh, it's a testament to this team and how hard we work and you know it's a team game to win games like this and obviously a couple more before the all-star break and just kind of finish it off and be, be proud of what we've done so far how do you personally manage through that schedule when there's no consistent routine and you're here there and everywhere yeah I think you know some days you don't know what day of the week it is or what uh, what the date of the number is, but it's just kind of, you know, where are we going, what are we doing, get your rest. Uh, I've gotten bigger at uh, taking naps and, and, and t actually taking baths. It's something that I haven't really gotten used to. Some some hotels don't have it, but uh, but it's just, you know, you're skiing every day, and, um, you know, sometimes I'm out there more than other guys with the, with the grueling schedule, and it's just one of those things to keep yourself as ready as possible. Get the sky bathtub. That's the secret, Scott. <laughs> Thank you so much for the time. Brian, we'll send it back over to you.